And now we're going to import uh, either our demo moves or our range of motion. I'm going to import the range of motion for right now. I'm just going to, again, make sure the Create Unused Optical Segments isn't selected. I'm going to hit Import, and we'll see that our dots are now imported. So we can scrub through this, and we can actually see that it looks like our range of motion. Okay, so now we want to do the same thing. We want to go over here to our Asset Browser. We want to drag a uh, actor in, and this actor, again, will, will show up. Now, he doesn't have anything assigned to him, but we can import a marker set now. And we can import the one that we just made, marker set 3. And you'll notice that it does this, but it doesn't know which dots to use. So what do we, we have to go over here, and we, wanna, uh, we can shift select all of our dots that we had, and we can just drag these over into the, the window here. Say OK when it asks and that'll line everything up and everything will know where to go, okay? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say active and we'll notice that our actor snaps right to our, um, our dots. So now uh, we can play around and we can uh, turn the uh, recycle the motion on and leave everything else alone for right now and we'll just hit play and we can see that our uh, demo moves and some things are breaking which I'm not liking here but it's not too bad so we can go back and we can fix some of this but in general it's looking quite good yeah it's looking quite good Okay, so uh, now, now you see how to make a template. No, it's actually, that, that's just the way the actor moves. I'm not sure what was going on in the abdomen there. Oh, I know what it was. It was the movement of the dot. So we could go through and we can, um, we can, we can filter that with our F curves window here. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that later. Um, right now, I just want you to, to, to learn how to set up the template. Okay, anyway, um, so we can stop this. And now we can go to File, and we can save this as, and we can call this Range of Motion. Okay? And this is going to be really good when you put your character on here to, to work on weight mapping, and you can see how things bend and how things break. So th this is kind of going to be useful for advanced techniques, but you should learn how to do it now because it's actually useful for, for beginners as well. Okay, so I'm just going to say save, and I'm going to pick the defaults, and that's about it. That's, that's really all that we need to do for this lesson, and um, we will uh, end it here.